Good morning. My mom and I are here at the Bear Lake Trailhead, located inside Rocky Mountain National Park. And today we're going for Odessa Lake. And then we'll probably just take it on out to the Fern Lake Trailhead and ride the shuttle bus back up here to the Bear Lake Trailhead. Official start time. 634. Bear Lake. We made it up here to the first trail split and we're looking at 3.6 miles out to Odessa Lake. And there's the view. You can see Long's Peak, Pagoda, Chief's Head, Thatch Top, and then the glacier knobs are sticking up below. We don't want Flat Top Mountain. We're gonna stay to the right. And it is gonna be a beautiful day. I'm talking blue skies and very little wind. Although we're going uphill right now, it's really not that steep. It's nothing like that very beginning section where you gotta hike it up to the Beerstadt Lake cutoff. Yeah, that part right there just gets you right out of the gate. And this is a really pretty trail back here. It's super bright green, colorful. And right now, we're hiking along a little flat section, which is very enjoyable. That's looking up at the flat top mountain east slope that's leading up. There's probably 50 people on that trail right now. That's looking over to Mount Wu, one of the most unenjoyable mountains in Rocky Mountain National Park, in my humble opinion. I mean, if I had to rank them, that one would probably be at the bottom. And we have arrived at this little open section and we can see Joe Mills Mountain, Little Matterhorn, Knob Top, and Notch Top. You know how they have Spider-Man? Well, I'm Spider-Web Man. I can break spider webs with my face and just keep going. They don't stop me at all. And we've made up to the sourdough campsite and this has taken us an hour and a half and we're at an elevation of about 10,600. And according to my GPS, here in about another 200 feet, is gonna be the split off to Marigold Pond. Right here at this big old tree is where we're gonna split off, take it down and across the rocks, and we should pop out at Marigold Pond. I think this is gonna be the easy way to do Marigold Pond. Don't get excited. That's not Marigold Pond. Keep your pants on, people. And that was a little harder than I remember it being. But we made it. Marigold Pond. We're gonna stop here at Marigold Pond for a nice 10 minute little break. This is incredible. Look at the reflection in the water. On to the next lake. We need to hike up and out of here and rejoin with the main trail. 
so we're basically going to take it directly to the north. Marigold Pond is literally just past that little band of trees right there. It takes maybe five minutes to get down there, maybe five minutes to get back up here. And then right here at about 10,700 is where the split off is for Two Rivers Lake. Let's go check it out. We're still taking it down to Two Rivers and that's not a rehab center for junkies. It's a lake. And in just under two hours and 15 minutes, we're up here to Two Rivers Lake. Beautiful. We're trying to stay on the little social trail that wraps around and this should go over to Lake Helene. I don't know, I feel like we're off it though. And we're back on it. And it looks like we're merging with the main trail that leads down to Lake Helene. And we made it, Lake Helene. And that's looking back at the little Matterhorn. I tried to climb to the top of that once. <laughs> I got up there on the ridge, but I didn't quite make it out to the end. It gets super sketchy. We're done with Lake Colleen and we're off to the next one, Odessa Lake. And we're back on the main trail. And we're gonna take it down to Odessa Lake and we're gonna look for raspberries on the way. I need a raspberry booster right now. Going down this part of the trail is epic. You just get really good views the entire time. And there's Odessa Lake down there. Yeah, it's hard not to do video like the entire way down this part of the trail. It is just really epic along here. Continuing to drop down. It 
the ripe raspberries are few and far between, but I just had a two berry booster. Mmm, raspberries are so good when they hit your lips. And we're just about out to Odessa Lake. And we made it, Odessa Lake. And we have been out here hiking for just over three hours and 20 minutes. It's tea time up here at Odessa Lake. And what a beautiful day. Absolutely perfect. There's a little fishy over there. I don't know much about fish, but I'm gonna say trout. Come on, buddy, swim back this way. Don't you wanna be on YouTube? All right, guys, it's 1045, which means that we've been sitting up here for nearly an hour or so. But we're gonna head on down and see if we can find Marguerite Falls. So it's time to go. It's time to head on back. All right, let's do it. Let's take it on back. The next destination is going to be Fern Lake, and that's going to be the sixth body of water. You can't go wrong with Odessa Lake. It is just incredibly beautiful back here, and especially this little approach up to the lake with the water oh yeah i was right that was a trout however i was going to say brown trout but it was a green back cutthroat trout yeah don't turn your back on those fish I'll cut your throat We're getting into the burned area. And once again, this is damage from the East Troublesome Fire in 2020. That's looking down onto Fern Lake. We're not too far away from it at all. We just need to hike down to it. This whole area through here is just torched. We had to stop again for a quick raspberry booster. And these are all raspberry plants right here. And this is quite a drop from Odessa Lake. It's like you can see Fern Lake through the burn trees, but then it takes forever to actually hike down to it. That Stones Peak is looking massive. 
Yeah, it gets a little rocky down here by Fern Lake. And just past the bridge is this little tiny terrible looking social trail and we're gonna take this down and see if we can find Marguerite Falls I've never seen Marguerite Falls before and I want to I feel like there's a super faint trail through here but I also feel like I could step into a hole. And according to my GPS, it looked like Marguerite Falls was less than a 10th of a mile from the bridge. I don't know, I don't see it yet though. We just hiked through a wet section and our boots are pretty much soaked. It was just really tall grass and we couldn't see what we were stepping on. Luckily it was short lived and we're back on solid ground now. Well, we're not sure if this is Marguerite Falls or not. I'm thinking it is. My GPS doesn't really have a solid location. It just says Marguerite Falls and it says that maybe a, another 110 feet in front of us. However, there's nothing else down there. Yeah, we're pretty sure that this is all part of Marguerite Falls. I don't think it's one big waterfall. I think it's a series of smaller ones. And I'm feeling like we did Marguerite Falls the super hard way. <laughs> it's like the trail kind of runs parallel to what we were hiking, but I wasn't sure how far away it branched off and what the terrain was like in between. But this isn't as bad as what we just hiked through. Yeah, that had to be Marguerite Falls. We're just hiking back up to the trail. And we're back on it. We're gonna continue down to Fern Falls. That's the next destination. The problem with this trail is that it's just incredibly rocky, pretty much from start to finish. And it makes going down fast pretty much impossible. And we've made it down to Fern Falls. And this is a good one. getting pretty close to dropping in on the pool and that's looking over in the direction of Cub Lake it's like tucked up 
way up high up there. And that's looking back in the direction that we have come from. It's just now 1247, which means that we've been out here hiking for about six hours and 15 minutes. And this is the pool. The next and final destination is going to be the Arch Rocks. And we're still holding on to this beautiful day. Just a few little puffy white clouds in the sky and a nice little breeze just to cool us off. I just checked the GPS and I think we're looking at just over two miles back down to where we're going to pick up the shuttle bus. So we've still got a little bit of hiking to do. It's not over yet. And we've made it down to the Arch Rocks. Looks like a little snake just went right in front of me. Oh. We're looking at just under one mile back to the Fern Lake Trailhead. And then we're going to have to hike it down the road another seven tenths of a mile to pick up the shuttle bus. Made it back to the Fern Lake Trailhead. It's just now 1.30. So we've been out here for just under seven hours now. And it looks like we've got seven tenths of a mile down to the shuttle bus stop. Home stretch. We just need to knock out this little seven tenths of a mile on the road and then we're done. Made it back to the Fern Lake winter parking area and it's just now 1.42. So that means we've been out here hiking for a total of seven hours and eight minutes today. That's a pretty serious hike. We're driving alongside Moraine Park and we just barely caught this bus. Like I was walking down the street and it was pulling up and I'm like yelling at my mom, I'm like, hurry, hurry, hurry. And then she like didn't really start moving any faster. So the bus driver's like, oh, no worries, I'll go pick her up. We just got dropped off at the park and ride and we're heading on over to the Bear Lake pickup spot. And we need to wait for another bus now. After a long wait, we're finally on the next bus. And that was a pretty eventful little stay at the Bear Lake pickup area. We saw this big tow truck come flying in the parking lot and he just completely took out the yield sign. I mean, he just ran right over it. And then one of the big buses was on fire, filling up the whole parking lot with smoke. So yeah. But at least we're on this thing and we're finally on the way up to Bear Lake. And finally, like an hour later, we're up here at the Bear Lake Trailhead. Well, we hope you enjoyed that hike. And until the next one, y'all, peace.